Good morning, man. Welcome. Happy Friday. Yo, Mr. Tom, yo, I still need help with the near pot. And when is your checkpoint your, your checkpoint due? Like, I don't the get check- that. The, what you got to do for your checkpoint? So I need help with the near pot in your checkpoint. I got to get that done today. I, the checkpoint we're going to talk about in class today. So right. I'm going to explain that today. And then the first section of that checkpoint is going to be due beginning of class next class, which is next Tuesday. All right. Um, the near pod, what are you, what specifically do you need help with on there? Just like how yeah, to. Really, like, I, I like, I'm just till now, I really ain't know nothing about it. I thought it was just something we was doing, but. I didn't know it really was like that serious, so I wasn't really paying it no mind for real, bro. Well, why would it not be that serious, man? Bro, because like I was worried about the checkpoints, bro. That's all I'd be worried about, like getting those. Well, done. that's not all that we ever do in class. That's what you gotta remember. The checkpoints right. are what we use to grade, but it's not just do these checkpoints and you'll be a hundred percent done. There's other things that go involved. So mm-hmm. if you log into class and then go back to sleep. That's not gonna. That's not gonna cut it. You know what I mean? Right. So, the best way to get caught up with that Nearpod, because all that Nearpod is, I mean, that's why I made it that way, is because I know some people are, were a little bit behind. So all you're doing in that Nearpod is just listening to that audio book of the first chapter in our story. And then as the questions pop up in the nearby, you're answering those questions right, right there. So, so right to get there. that yellow, can I just send you the answers to Hangouts? Like, what? Like Emmanuel, the first thing I want you to remember is your goal should not be, what do I have to do to get it yellow? Your goal should be, what do I have to do to get it done? Okay. Right. If your goal is, what do I have to do to get it yellow? That tells me you already know you're going to be behind. So you got to shift your thinking around, my friend. So... Okay. There's no reason that if you don't, if you find 45 minutes out of your day somewhere, you can sit down and listen and answer those questions because you're more than capable of answering those questions because you've done it in class when we've had other discussions before. It it just so happens this time you actually have to take time out of your day to do it. So don't let you, don't let you skip up in the video. Like, I know I did that on purpose so that people don't skip to the end. That's crazy, bro. Well, that's the only way people will actually read, my friend, unfortunately. Looks like I got a bubble down. You got to outsmart people, you know what I mean? Right. This is not my, this is not my first day, dog. All right. So I will be in the Summit Lab from one to three today. What I want you to do is try to do it yourself first. And then if you are still having trouble, come see me in the Summit Lab. All right. And also another good way to get caught up is to watch the class recordings on the Yes Philly YouTube page, right? So if you miss class or you were snoozing or something, then you can go back and see like what we talked about, how we talked about it. So I don't have to reteach a whole lesson to just you, you know what I'm saying? Right. Cool. All right. And then, like I said, the the actual checkpoint we're going to talk about today, all right? Good morning. Welcome to everyone else who has also joined us. Good to see you all today. Let me get my attendance together here. Who do we got? Ike is with us. Emmanuel, Alicia. Somebody else just joined too. Kareem. Kareem, you may be in the wrong link this morning, my friend. I don't see, I don't have you on my Tenants day. Don't forget, it is second period on Friday. So you want your Tuesday, Friday classes. So make sure you got the make sure you got the right name. Right. The rest of us. Good morning. How are we doing today? Good. I hope. I hope nobody is too snowed in or anything like that. All right, we'll give it a few more minutes here. See if we get anybody else logged on. All right. While we are waiting, ladies and gents, so you can head to Summit and pull up uh, checkpoint one. I'll put that in the chat as well.
Hey, good morning, Jairi. Welcome. All right, I want to send one more reminder out here. Give it maybe like two, three more minutes. Again, if you, while you're waiting, if you haven't already, head to Summit, log in, and then find our class, Creative Writing, pull up Checkpoint One, Reading Notes, and uh, I'll share my screen in a second, show you what that uh, should look like. Good morning. Who's that? Shirley Ann. Welcome. All right, about another minute here, folks. Again, while you're waiting, pull up Summit for our class and uh, open up Checkpoint One called Reading Notes. All right, y'all, welcome in again. Uh, hopefully everybody is uh, with us, logged in this morning. So uh, let's do this. Actually, y'all, I'm sorry, give me one second. I think I might have a package that's coming right now. So let me, I'm gonna step away for two minutes and I'll be right back. All right, false alarm. All right, y'all, so let me share my screen here and get us going this morning. If you haven't already, you should be logged into Summit. 
and have checkpoint one pulled up. So let me share my screen, show us where we wanna to be to do that. So if you're on Summit, as always, it should look like this creative writing and home going is our project. And then you wanna find checkpoint one right here, reading notes. And then you wanna click right here at the top and then it should look like this, okay? And this is what you should have pulled up on your end, all right? So I'll give everybody maybe another minute or two if they still don't have this pulled up. If you do have it pulled up and you're ready to go, your screen looks like mine, please let me know by telling me in the chat, give me a thumbs up um, or tell me that you got it, okay? So again, we want to be pulling up checkpoint one on summit. All right, how are we doing? We got this pulled up, we're getting there. All right, Manuel's got it, Shirley Ann's got it, cool, cool. We'll give it about another minute for everyone else to aim for Jairi, Relisha, Ike. Let me know when you guys have this pulled up. About another 30 seconds here. All right, y'all. So if you have this pulled up and welcome to whoever just joined us, Zaire. Good morning, my friend. All right, we are on summit. We are looking at checkpoint one right here, which is reading notes. Okay. Now, those of you who have been with us in class, you know that we have been uh, going through our story, home going. Okay. And uh, reading that, if you have been trying to get caught up on the Nearpod, um, you should be familiar with it as well. Right? So now that we have talked a little bit about point of view, uh, like we did last class, what that means, we're going to start to kind of take notes as we go through our story, read and analyze what's happening here. So you'll notice the first thing we can fill out uh, are these you know, date sections that are highlighted. We're not gonna worry about these two for now. Final seminar, uh, final uh, time to essay, okay? We're not gonna worry about those for now. We're gonna worry about the first one right here next to the first chapter, Effia, because if you remember, all the chapters are names of different people in that family tree that the, the story is told through. So the first date we're gonna fill in right here is gonna be 12, 
twelve twenty two. That is next Tuesday. Uh, that is our last class before the break, and that's when I would like to see uh, this done by. Okay. So you can fill out um, that date on your end if you have your uh, checkpoint pulled up. We're going to fill it out right there next to ch uh, chapter one in that chart. And then we're going to also fill it out right here above the first box. So I'm going to do that on mine as well. OK, 1222. So we're going to do that now if you haven't already, if you have this pulled up. All right, and I know some of us might be a little bit behind if we just join, that's OK. Again, we are recording. So this will also be up on the YouTube later today. So you can go back, check it out there as well. Okay, now if you look in the directions here, you will see it kind of gives you a little cheat sheet on what you should be putting into each section. We're not gonna worry about the questions and responses one because any discussion questions um, and answers and stuff like that, we're gonna do either together in class or via Nearpod like we did for the this first section. Oh, oh excuse me. All right, so the first section says notes. Here is where you make general notes about who is who, what happened, what and where, when and where, etc. These notes are reminders of what is happening in the story. And it's recommended that these are in bullet point format. So we can go down to our first box right here and start doing this for our first section that we've read for Epio, right? So if I wanna make a bullet point, right? The quick way to do that is hold down shift on your keyboard and the number eight key, that makes it a little star. And then if I hit the space bar one time, now I have a bullet point, okay? And so this is where I would wanna start recounting the details of that first section. So I could say, um, <clears throat> Effia is, <clears throat> excuse me, the daughter of uh, Kobe and Baba, right? She is born on the same night that <clears throat> that a fire destroys. Does anybody remember what that fire destroys the night she's born? Anybody that has, <clears throat> excuse me, that's caught up on the story or that can recall from when we talked about it before, you can answer me in the chat or you can come off mute. Right. And really should for your question in the chat, just search Yes Philly uh, on YouTube and then our, our school channel should come up and you should be able to see all the videos. That should be the best, should be the quickest way to do it. So anybody who can recall what, what gets destroyed in that fire that makes uh, Effie's father so angry. Happens the same night she's born. Hey, hey, Desiree, good to see you. Welcome. All right, Desiree, we are on Summit. We are we're looking at checkpoint one today, going over that. All right. Um, I know I haven't seen you maybe at all yet, so you might want to log on to Summit and enter the enrollment codes which I can give to you in a sec, um, just hang tight. So anyone who can recall what gets destroyed in that fire, the same night Effie is born.
anything in the chat or coming off mute? Let me check the chat right here. No, no guesses. That's okay. Right. So if we do not remember that fire destroys um, her family's uh, yam, so it's all the yam crops. So that's why her father never talks about it again. Her mom is like um, super upset about it. Okay. And we also know that uh, she is uh, married off to James Collins, British soldier. Uh, she goes with James to live in the Cape Coast castle. Right. And then uh, you, this is where you would continue to fill in. There's at least maybe two, three big uh, events that happened throughout that first chapter that you could fill in with bullet points. Now, if none of this is ringing any bells, then that should tell you, okay, I need to get caught up um, and read that first section, which you can do either via the PDF um, copy of the story that I'm going to put in the chat before we go, or on the Nearpod, which is the audio book recording, and then you're just answering some questions um, as they pop up there. All right. So that's kind of how you would go about filling out the notes um, section. Okay. Now I'm going to scroll up, but if you want to copy this, there's going to be some time um, in a few to get everything copied down onto your your own checkpoint. All right. To help you guys get started. So after we have our note, everybody still with me so far before I keep going. Any questions? Going too fast, going too slow. Now's the time to let me know. And I didn't even want that to rhyme, but it did anyway. All right, cool, we'll keep going then. So the next box we have is point of view purpose. It said, here's where you analyze the specific points of view that are brought up in each chapter and how those points of view affect the story as a whole and or analyze what you think the author's purpose was in that chapter. It is recommended that this section is written in complete sentences. So we would go down here and this is where we would try and figure out, okay, what point of view is this section uh, told from, written in? Now, if you were here last class, you should recall the different points of view that we discussed, right? So can anyone refresh our memory and tell me either in the chat or uh, you can come off mute, what are those different points of view that we discussed? There are three uh, different kinds, okay? Put that question in the chat as well. Right. But what are those three types of point of view that we discussed last time? We have three kinds. Do we remember what they are? Anybody remind us either in the chat or coming off mute?
No thoughts or guesses here. Our different kinds of point of view. We talked about this last time. It was on our PowerPoint. So if you were here, it should hopefully ring some bells, or you might have heard about it before. Anybody who is out there and still with us, have we all faded away? Are we snoozing, getting coffee, out in the snow? No thoughts on this for some this morning. What if I put two in there to help us out? All right. We have first person, we have second person. And what would our last one be? Again, looking for anyone to help me out with this, either in the chat or coming off mute. You asking for different types of point of view? Yeah, I'm just asking what are the three different types that we talked about first? Um, first, second, third. Yes, third person. Thank you. Okay. And now with third person, we know there are two different kinds, right? So what are those two different types of third person? Can anybody recall that? This is something we talked about last class. I don't remember that one. Okay, so if we remember the two different kinds of third person, one had to do with uh, somebody who is all knowing, knows every single character's thoughts, feelings, and the other one had to do with a narrator who might only know a few people's thoughts and feelings. Do we remember what each of those was called? Anything ring a bell here? Um, I think the first one was first one starts with a the word we're looking for starts with an O was it objective no but you're close um um what I can't pronounce it <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember how to pronounce it, but I know it started with an O. Yeah, omniscient is the word, the word we're looking for. So omniscient, yeah, omniscient and limited, right? So those are our two different kinds of third person, and which one is which here? Because we said one has to do with the narrator knows every character's thoughts and feelings. The other one. The narrator only knows certain characters' thoughts and feelings. So which one is which? Which one of these do we think would be the one that we only know a select few characters, thoughts and feelings? Would that be limited or omniscient? What do we think? Omniscient is for the narrator. I don't I don't quite know what you mean there, Jerry, because they're both like they're both a form of narration. Like there's a narrator in each one. So can you maybe be a little bit more specific there and help me out?
if we know only one of the one of these only narrates the thoughts and feelings of only a few characters do we think that would be limited or omniscient which one do we think that would be All right, so if we're if we're stumped on this, that's okay. So think about it like limited. There's a limit on the number of characters whose thoughts and feelings we know. So that would be the difference there. So uh, limited equals uh, only uh, certain characters. thoughts and feelings, right? Mission equals uh, every character's thoughts and feelings, right? So that is the difference there, okay? Now, do we think we can determine what point of view this first section of our story is told from? Those of us who are caught up or have read it or remember it from being in class, I have the PDF version of our story pulled up now. So what do we think? If we're looking at this PDF version and we're trying to determine, okay, what point of view is this uh, told from, All right? If we look at this section right here, it says his name was James Collins, he, and he was the newly appointed governor of the Cape Coast Castle. Within a week, he had come back to the village to ask Baba for Effie's hand in marriage. Kobe's rage of the proposal filled every room like hot steam. And if we scroll down a little bit more, down here it's telling us Effie had heard the white man talking to her mother earlier that day. He would pay 30 pounds up front and 25 shillings a month in a tradable goods baba, more than a big you could even offer. Baba told him her story. Abiko rubbed his head carefully as he thought about it. All right. So what, what do we think? What kind of point of view do we have here in our own story? First, first person, second person, or third person? What do we think? What do we have here? I'll put this in the chat as well.
What do we think? What kind of point of view do we think we have here? First, second, or third person based on the little excerpts we just read here. Hopefully you guys can see this while I'm sharing my screen. Any thoughts here? Any guesses? If we pay attention to if we pay attention to the kinds of pronouns we're using, yeah. pay attention to you know the different characters and you know whether we know what they're thinking, what they're feeling. Okay. What do we think? This first person, second person, third person. Any thoughts on this? All right, if we are stumped, that's okay. I would like to hear from at least one of you on this, but I know maybe not everyone in here has been uh, in class each time, so you might be a little bit behind on the story. So that's okay. So no thoughts, nobody with a guess as to what kind of point of view we have here, first, second, third person in our own story. All right, well, if we look here, we could see we have uh, pronouns like his. Uh, and then down here, we're saying Effia, the white man. Um, if you could hear her, if you could hear her father talking. So those pronouns tell us that, okay, this is third person. Because it's somebody else telling a story, not somebody giving their own personal account. So we don't see any pronouns like I or we. Okay. things like that. Now we want to decide, is this omniscient or is it limited? <clears throat> so that's where I have to ask myself, okay, do we know the thoughts and feelings of every character or only a certain number of characters? But if I look and I see up here, we're told about Kobe's rage. So we know that he's feeling angry. We know what, what Effie is doing up here. And then if we scroll down even further, Um, we know that it tells us Kobe is, is weeping. Um, it kind of tells us what Abiku is feeling. So all of that would, would, uh, give us the hint that we know every character's thoughts and feelings. So we know that we have third person omniscient here <clears throat> for our story. So I'll play in the chat as well. Okay. So when we come back to our checkpoint and we fill in our notes here, that's what we want to say. We want to say, you know, this section is told from uh, a third person omniscient point, if I can remember how to spell omniscient, point of view and gives us uh, Effia's uh, perspective. Right. And now, if we remember, we go back and look at that second part of the directions, what we have to do for point of view purpose, analyze what you think the author's purpose was in that chapter. 
So I would say something like um, the author uh, chooses to use this point of view to help the story by, and then you can continue that sentence. Tell me how is the story affected by using uh, that point of view, okay? How does it add to the story? How does it make the story interesting, different, whatever it may be? That's what you're gonna do in the point of view purpose section. And then lastly, in the notes section, this is where you would wanna find one to three quotes, or excuse me, the quote section. One to three quotes from the chapter that um, represent the most uh, important moments from that chapter, okay? That's what you would wanna do there. And then, like I said, we're not gonna worry about the questions and responses boxes, we're just gonna focus on these three. So let me zoom out here a little bit so we can get all of them in one shot. So ladies and gents, we got about 15 minutes left, okay? I am going to leave all these three boxes up here so you can copy them into your checkpoint right now. And then the, the rest of the time, the next like 12 minutes or so, 12, 13 minutes, I'm gonna give to you guys to either continue working on this checkpoint if you are already caught up with the story. If you are not caught up with the story, then I'm gonna put <clears throat> some links in the chat real quick for you to um, get caught up if you are still behind, all right? So the first link is gonna be for the Nearpod, all right? Where you can listen to the audiobook of this section and uh, answer the questions that go along with it. That's also something that you need to get caught up on either way because it was on the, uh, something I checked for the progress report. Okay, and the code is in there as well. And then the other link I'm gonna put in the chat is to the PDF version of our book. So you can follow along that way if you want. Um, so that's gonna go in the chat as well. So the PDF is in the chat as well. All right, so you can use either one of those two links. And yes, Zaire, I do have an afternoon lab. So if you are behind, you can also get caught up there as well. Remember that the link for the afternoon lab is the same link for this class. So you should not need to ask me, can I have the link to your lab? Because you already have it if you are in this class right now, because it is the same link, all right? They are from one to three every day, including today. So I will be there between one and three today. And right, so if you know you're behind and you need a little bit of help, uh, feel free to come in there. You can also check out the um, YouTube videos on the Yes Philly YouTube as well, the class recordings. Oh, excuse me. All right. So ladies and gents, what you should be doing for the next like 10, uh, 11 minutes or so, is either continuing to work on this checkpoint um, and going through filling out some more bullet points, um, telling me why they use that specific point of view, how it affects the story, all right? Or if you are behind and you can't do any of that, you can use the near part of the PDF to continue reading through that section and, and uh, getting caught up, all right? If you know you struggle with um, you know, sitting down and reading for a long period of time, then I would recommend doing the Nearpod because it's an audiobook so you can listen um, and follow along. And you can kind of start and stop, all right? Um, and like I said, I'm going to leave this, um, I'm going to leave my checkpoint up there um, if you want to copy it down onto yours. Yes, so Relisha, to answer your question, yeah, you can um, add to my bullets. So you can copy my bullets down so you can kind of help yourself get started, uh, help yourself remember like how to do it and then 
um, what I'll be looking for is like that you're adding to them. You have new ones in there when I check this, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put that back up. I'm gonna mute myself and then I'll check back in in a few. So go ahead and, uh, and get to it. Thank you guys, good job.
All right, ladies and gents, welcome back. Hopefully we were able to get some of that done. So just a quick recap before we wrap up here. Um, first of all, a reminder that there is a all school assembly today at 11.30, so right after this class. So if you're able to attend, we wanna see you there. We're gonna give some shout outs for progress reports and uh, other things of that nature. And there are some Visa gift cards up for grabs now. We have switched from Amazon gift cards to Visa gift cards. Mr. Gary's gonna explain all about it. So a little bit wider variety of um, ways to use these rewards now. So um, if you want that paper, make sure you attend. Uh, and hopefully you hear your name get called. As far as this class goes, for the next time we meet on Tuesday, the 22nd, I should see the first section of this checkpoint, the reading notes, that first chapter for FE, I should see that completed. Completed means you've added some more bullet points, you finished uh, the point of view section, and you found um, some quotes. Now, if you copied what I had, that's a good start um, and should be able to help you figure out how to do the rest, okay? And again, you can utilize the Nearpod. The link is in the chat for that. You can utilize the PDF version of the book. The link is in the chat for that as well. If you are stumped, you can come uh, see me in the Summit Lab later today um, or on Monday. And you can also watch the class recordings on YouTube uh, from the Yes Philly page, okay? So questions on anything before we go? Questions on what you have to do? Questions on where to find anything? Any concerns? If you have some, now is the time, because if I don't hear from you, I'm gonna assume you're good to go. All right, awesome. Well then, thank you guys. Um, have a good weekend, stay safe. I will see you in a few minutes for the assembly and then I will see you again on Tuesday. Again, remember by beginning of the next class, I should see the first section of that checkpoint done and I will put a reminder out on Summit as well. All right, good job and uh, stay safe. Have a good weekend, see you in a few for the assembly. Thank you guys.